guys, my name is Kelly. If you're new here, welcome. I'm a full-time reseller and I post the occasional vlog, like hiking, traveling. So today I'm doing my August What Sold video and I'm a little closer to the camera this time. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm too far back, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I don't really like being close to the camera. So I'm going to share some of my favorite sales with you. If you like this video, if you could give it a like, a comment, subscribe. If you watched all the way to the end, that really helps me out a lot. I am trying to increase my watch hours so that I can become monetized because I'm not making any money doing this at the moment and I'm putting a lot of work into it. So it'd be really nice to be able to be monetized at some point. So I'm not just like doing all this work for free, <laughs> even though this is fun for me, but it is a lot of work. Okay, let's get started. If I am looking down at all, it's because I'm looking at my computer. Okay, so the first item was White House Black Market a Healed Ankle Booty, and I normally don't sell a ton of this brand. So I did sell it at one point, and it looked exactly like this other pair of shoes that I had, and I accidentally sent the lady the wrong pair. And she kept them. She didn't like, she accepted the order and gave me five stars, but she said she got the wrong pair of shoes and she didn't open a case. So, you know, she couldn't send them back and get the right pair. So I guess she was okay with the other pair. So I resold these and I sold them for more. I sold them for $54. Super happy with that. Also, if you watch all the way through, I have some really good sales, some really high dollar sales. Theory Wool Demetria Straight Leg Trouser Pants, Basic Pair of Theory. I wish that I could have set these into ThreadUp because Theory does really well for me in there, but I don't have labels at the moment. I did make a video and I am so thankful for all of you guys that watched it. It has the most views of all my videos. I talk about the brands that do well on there, what I've sold, my tips and tricks. So I'm gonna link that video up there if you guys want to watch it. This is normally a brand that I would set into ThreadUp because I would get probably double this on ThreadUp, but I was happy with $32 for a pair of wool dress pants because that's not something that I sell super well. Okay, the next was a J. Jill Knit Light Blue Button Up Cardigan. This was really nice. I hauled this in a very recent haul video. I'll try and link it up above if I can. Sold it for $31 and it sold very quickly, which I was glad because it was very chunky, very bulky. It was a pair of Giorgio Armani brown wide leg front pocket pants, a size extra large, not so mystery box, and a pair of Clark's Artisans gold metallic flats. Giorgio Armani is one of those things that sells really well for me on ThreadUp. I have only sold it one time other than this on Poshmark and it was $50 for a sweater. It does not sell that great for me on Poshmark, but, um, and these were brown wide leg pants. I really thought these were going to be sitting for a lot longer and then I was going to end up setting them into thread up when I was able to get labels. So I was so happy to sell these, um, the flats, even though they were so cute, they were sitting forever. I sold the whole thing for $190 and once you take out Poshmark fee, which was $38, my profit was $152. My cost of goods was low, so I was very happy with that. Next was a pair of Dansko Marta Leather Clog Mary Jane Heeled Shoes. I actually thought these were going to sit for a while. I was surprised they sold for $38. They did have wear on them, not like a ton. It was mostly on like the like the sole or whatever, not on the bottom, but like in the shoe. So I don't know. I think that just made them like look kind of uh, dirty. Also, I just realized in my listing, instead of the word clog, I put the word vlog. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They still sold for $38. Okay, next was a Madewell Kent wool blend cardigan with pockets. I sold it for $28. I had it listed at like 50. I wish I had gotten a little more I'm really surprised that this was sitting for so long, but I got an offer, so I just accepted it. Next was a Lululemon Black Athletic Zip Up Jacket. Sold it for 41. This had come from my closet. I had done a closet declutter and haul video. I'll link it up above if you want to watch it. I just decluttered my closet and um, showed you guys the stuff that I was going to list. These, I was surprised I sold them for so much. The brand is Mia. I think it's like a boutique brand, but like a lot of wholesalers sell it. I'm fairly certain because I've seen this brand in a lot of shoes that like boutiques sell. So it was Mia Rose floral embroidered booties. They were very cute. They did have some wear though. They were just like, I don't know. You could just tell they had been worn like a little bit. They're still in pretty good condition. Um, I was expecting 15 20 just because this brand doesn't sell for a ton but I sold them for 27 and they also sold right away 
I've been putting off listing a bunch of shoes because I hate cleaning shoes. I hate listing shoes for whatever reason. And I just spent one day, I just cleaned a bunch of shoes, photographed, listed, and right away those dance clothes sold, these ones sold. Um, one other pair sold, I think it's in here. So this Genuine Leather Flower BOC Sandal Wedges, I, these all sold I think the day or the day after I listed them. I was actually really shocked by these because wedge sandal heels don't do well for me and these did have some wear on them but they sold for $30 so super happy with that. I like selling shoes quick because I do not like storing them. Okay this is one of my best sales. The brand is Karen Mabin, I believe. Um, it's It was a pajama set that retailed for $195 and it was satin and it the print was book covers like all the classic book covers. I'm gonna insert like a bunch of pictures so you can see. Uh, I picked this up a long time ago. It took me forever to list. Whenever I get something really nice, sometimes it takes me a long time to list. Um, just get anxiety that I'm not going to list it right. Just stupid. It had classic books like Little Women, The Wizard of Oz, The Great Gatsby, Jurassic Park, 1984, Life of Pi, Pride and Prejudice, The Bell Jar, The Shining, The Secret Garden. So many classic books. It was in amazing condition. It felt like silk. It was just polyester. They sold really fast too. So I was really happy with this. I sold them for $80. And this next one was my top sale. It was Johnny Was. It was 100% silk uh, Jessner mosa mosaic tunic. It was this really pretty top. The print was gorgeous. It sold really quick. Retailed for $250 originally. 100% silk, just really pretty top. I've only found Johnny Was a couple of times, but almost every time it's done really well for me. The next item was a J. Jill Terry Cloth Striped Gray Blue Sweater. This was hauled very recently. Uh, it sold pretty quick. J. Jill sometimes can sit for me, so I was really happy that this sold. It sold for $27 right away, and it did have some... Um, some fuzzies and some pilling and stuff, so I was happy with the $27. This, I was surprised I got $17 for this also. It's just a mesh rose embroidered sheer top. They've sold similar ones on like Wish and Shein and stuff. It had no size, so I just um, did measurements and stuff. Sold for $17. Next was a New With Tags Cara Navy Pleated Mesh Dress. Very nice, New With Tags. It had mesh and then it was like pleated throughout. It did sit for a long time, but I sold it for $28 and I had actually gotten this one for free. I sold a Lucky Brand Floral Boho Peasant Top for $20. I had also just listed this. I love when I list stuff and then right away it sells. I feel like stuff either sells right away for me or it sits for so long. There's like no in between. <laughs> A Betsy Johnson black sheath dress with cap sleeves. I also just hauled this. This sold really quickly. It was a really nice Betsy Johnson dress. I think I've only found Betsy Johnson like one other time. I found this like new tags trench coat. I sold this for $26 and it sold really fast. This next one also sold really fast. I love these fast sales. This was a new tags Ida Kabur gold link bib necklace. I also, or this was in I believe my last or my second to last haul video. It was just this really nice quality necklace, but I did not know like what it was made out of or anything. So 18 was good. Okay, this next was a bundle. It was a Rebecca Taylor step hem knit sweater that originally retailed for, for $395. A Michael Starr's linen Joyce tan shorts, a 100% Silk Express World brand stretch button top, and an Ann Taylor 100% wool tan camel fringe scarf. Sold that bundle for $99. I was happy with that. I just listed the scarf and I didn't think I was going to get a ton for it. The Rebecca Taylor, um, sometimes that brand doesn't resell super well. It'd been sitting forever. All of these things have been sitting forever except for the scarf. So um, my, my earnings were $79.20. Super happy with that and I love selling bundles. I forgot to mention this. I just filmed like three videos. I think I just forgot to mention this in all of them. Um, my Poshmark and Instagram are both rebel underscore rose underscore co. So if you want to follow me on Instagram also. Next was, I was a little disappointed with this. I only found the Lily Pulitzer two times and this sat forever. It was always like a bolo. Um, it was the floral jungle. The style name was Slat House Rock Dress. Yeah, the style name is Slat House Rock. Um, it was just this like floral jungle print. It only sold for $22 and it sat for so long. And I thought it was gonna sell really fast. Bundle, it was a vintage 100% silk purple button down top. 
Um, another top that was part of my three for 30 sale. It was a satin emerald green button short sleeve top and a 100% silk silk land button down vintage top. I sold them all for $45. Super happy with that. They all had been sitting for a really long time too. This next one I was really happy with too. It was a new with tags, current Elliott linen gingham top or tank top. It retailed for $175. Current Elliott does not always have the best resale value. This had been sitting for forever and I sold it for $34. So super happy with that. Clean 100% linen cream button down lag and look top. The brand is K L E E N, and I sold it for $25. I kind of wanted to keep this, but it didn't look uh, that great on me. This is a really nice, sustainable brand. Sold a Spanx black open bust tank top. I hauled this a while ago in one of my thrift with me's at Value Village. I think I paid $5 maybe. I was hoping to get more. I only sold 20. I only sold it for $22 but that is okay. This next one was a vintage 100% genuine leather suede skirt. It was turquoise suede and then black leather. And I got this for free at an estate sale where they were just giving away what didn't sell. Sold it for 20, super happy with that. Next was another bundle, a cabby high rise wide leg black trousers. I had thought these were gonna sit for a while because uh, black like dress pants sit for a while and they weren't like wool or anything. Um, and then a linen lyocell floral watercolor mini skirt. I believe the brand on this was Loft, which also sits for me. And then a J. Crew peach gingham button up long sleeve top. This top was really cute. Sold them all for $55. Super happy with that. Next was Donald. Okay, it's Donald Pliner is the brand. And I put Donald Planer. Maybe that's why they took so long to sell because I misspelled the brand name. <laughs> But the style name was Denda. They were silver embellished flats. Really pretty. Sold them for 32. I probably could have sold them for more if I spelled the fucking brand name correctly. I sold a bunch more bundles of stuff, which was nice. I'm not gonna go through every single one. So it was a new with tag. The brand was Work Custom Jeans. It was a tie-dye bleach, I believe, like style. And it, this brand has been sold at Revolve before, but I couldn't really find very much on the internet. They're very unique. I sold a vintage 100% silk leopard print skirt with lace for $27. Sold a silk blend Bon Voyage embroidered sweater for $24. This was by Banana Republic. I thought this was really cute. It was like a very lightweight um, silk blend sweater. Sold a Masuk black dress black mini dress with cap sleeves for $32. I wish I had sold this for a little more, um, but. I'm trying to like, if I get an offer on something that's been sitting, I'm trying to just accept it as long as I'm making a little bit of money. This was another thing kind of like that. St. John Sport by Marie Gray, which is much less expensive than regular St. John. This was a floral long sleeve top. It was like kind of like a mock neck. It was very lightweight. It did have some pilling. I got an offer for 19. I sold a pair of Lucky Brand white fringe hem denim shorts for $25. Those also sold really fast. So if you saw in one of my previous hauls, I got a million Eileen Fisher items and a ton of basic white tank tops. I think about half of them have already sold. Um, I was pretty surprised they've all sold pretty quickly. This one, it's an Eileen Fisher 100% organic cotton tank top. I sold it for $20. This one was another one I wish I could have gotten more for. It was very interesting. So it was new with tags. The brand was Jonathan Simkai, which is very expensive. It was a pinstripe fit and flare dress, but it was like, I believe it was polyester. It felt like cotton and it had this like fuzzy finish where it kind of looked like pilling, but it wasn't pilling. I don't know, comps were all over the place. And I saw another one of this dress for pretty low. So when someone sent me a $30 offer, I paid almost nothing, so I took it. Sold a pair of Rock Revival Berry Straight embellished jeans. Um, I also just hauled these. They sold for $50. Really happy with that. I love fast flips. Okay, one last item. It was a huge bundle. It was actually, I said I'd only sold one Giorgio Armani item before, um, but this one also. So I got, I sold this whole bundle for $215. Okay, a long sleeve cotton striped lag and look top. It was like a nothing brand and I just listed it. A 100% silk silver Talbots skirt, a Wilfred blue and white striped mini dress, a 100% pure new wool pleated mini skirt. The brand was Jones, New York. 
a Brooks Brothers 100% wool pencil skirt, a purple label Ralph Lauren 100% linen trumpet skirt, a new with tags Trio New York 100% linen uniform style dress, a new with tags Giorgio Armani black pencil skirt, and a linen vintage American tan shorts. I sold this all for $215 and some of these things I let go for a little less than I would have liked to, but all of the all the skirts were sitting for me and the Wilford dress too, which I'm surprised because Wilford's a really good brand, but they had all been sitting um, and the shorts too with like no likes, like no interest. And my cost of goods was really good on this stuff. So I was so happy to sell this bundle for $215. I love selling big bundles. I sold a lot of big bundles this month and I was super happy with that. Okay, so that is the end of my what sold video. If you guys got to the end, I really appreciate it. If you could give this video a like, a comment, subscribe, share on your Instagram if you want to. Yeah, I'm really trying to get monetized within the next year. I've had this channel for about a year. I'm almost, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and I believe 4,500 watch hours and um, I'm at like 860 something subscribers, but my watch hours for this past year were only 1,000, not 4,500. So if you guys watch till the end of my videos, it means so much to me. Uh, every minute counts. <laughs> okay, see ya.